We are the concert team and we are separate in three different areas. The first one is design area by Miguel Angel Vargas and Oscar Dorantes. The second one is automatization area by Daniel Galindo and Tomas Luna. And the last one is manufacturing area by Raul Gutierrez and Lázaro Cande. An important agricultural sector in the industry is to make many machines to improve and reduce the process. Yes, for example, in the tiny Pacific, to use across the new tractor which facilitates the growing of the lands. And the machines that are used for the shelling of corn, beans and different grains. We can concentrate in a specific area that is corn sheltered. We will show you the different processes that we had to do to achieve make the best for sheller machine. Talking about the mechanism, it is composed by a motor, a pair of pulleys, a belt, and a principal shaft with a cutting tool that allows the shelling of the corn. To move all of this mechanism, it is necessary to use a transmission, and for that reason, the machine is going to use a belt pulley transmission. One pulley is on the motor, and the second one is in the shaft. And with the belt, all of this mechanism is going to have a rotational movement. Uh, the motor gives to the shaft the movement. But in a moment, I'm going to talk more about it to explain all of this transmission. Knowing the different elements of our machine is also important to know the dimensions that it has. Coding with a width of 81 cm of casing, 115 cm of base, and length of 121 cm. A total height of 120.5 cm. Of this, 16.5 cm are from the shell. And in the upper part, in the entrance of the cock, there is an opening of 16 pier. 57 and the height of 30.35 cm. As is possible to see, this is a machine with a comfort, comfort dimensions, avoid the efforts for excessive height or behind the small. And that was just for the structure. Now, I'm going to say the dimensions of our mechanism that in that part we have two important elements. First of all, we have a shaft that it has a measure of 150 centimeters and a diameter of 9.60 centimeters. And from our shelter, it has a measure of 110 centimeters long. It has an inside diameter of 9.60 centimeters and an external diameter of 12.60 centimeters. As you can see, our shelter has like teeth to shell the corn. Every foot has a diameter of 2.5 cm with a height of 5.50 cm and actually every foot needs to be 2 8 cm from another. We decided to use the PTR because it's the best option for the structure and we this reduce the vibrations that the machine may have. Pain for corrosion in the climate condition to which the machine is exposed. Why will we use this type of transmission? It is simple uh, because for the AC that the worker can have of the moment to use it since the only main things that it can receive to change the band but it is changed must be done uh, every year due to the climatic change that the machine is subjected to and actually another important thing to say why we select that type of transmission is because they have a quieter operation than a shade or gear transmission. Also, a low power to be transmitted over relatively long distance economically. Are easily detachable and attachable. Can reach high speed compared to the chains. Uh, the dimensions of each pulley are P1 or this pulley is that we have on the shot has a diameter of 400 millimeters and we have P2 or the principal pulley that 
This is the pulley that is in the motor. Has a diameter of 300 millimeters. Uh, this must be, be taken into account because with this we can modify the torque or revolutions per minute that the motor delivered to the exit that is the shaft. Uh, the shaft is who is going to do the work to the shield uh, the car. You can see the calculations to determine the RPM that is equal to revolutions per minute and the torque uh, that the mechanism is going to have for the transmission that it has. The mechanism has a decrease of RPM. It's just because we use one pulley that is in the motor less than the other. But actually, with that, the transmission has an increase in the torque. Uh, we know this because it's how the transmission works. If the RPM decreases, the torque uh, always is going to increase. And if the RPM increases, the torque is going to decrease. Belt. And to select the belt, we did calculations to find the best belt because at the moment that the machine works with high velocity the belt that is who is going to transmit the movement it needs to be resistant to the machine it could be dangerous if the belt is not adequate here you can see a table with the type of the belt that is necessary depends to the motor because we need to take in account the rpm and hp this is the revolutions per minute and the horsepower. This or motor give us that information. We have uh, 1750 RPM and 2 HP that is horsepower. And with that, we see in the table that the belt that is necessary is a belt 3B. But that is not all. We need to find also the shape pitch diameter. With this, also we can find the diameter of the belt. We need to take in account that the belt speed must be between 4,000 and 5,000 FPM, that is feet per minute. And doing some calculations, we can see that the velocity of the belt is between 4,000 and 5,000. Given the mechanism used by the machine, we use bearings and the order to obtain the best performance. In the calculation, may we base our result on the hours present in the table for agricultural equipment, with which we could obtain the dynamic run and know what it will be the bearing strength. Once the goal was obtained, we were able to proceed to perform the calculation to obtain the average working hours of the shower. Our show shows an acceptable tension without over effort. A displacement without over effort in the center of the shaft. The shaft doesn't suffer overheating, this prevents the deformation. All this has an acceptable value of 3.58 giving us an acceptable value. Time to talk about the automation of our project. We will start with the central element and I'm talking about the Arduino. Arduino is an element created for automation and development projects. It has a great community for its use as well as it is of use. We will use the Arduino Nano, which is one of the most compact of its family without losing and any others. The Arduino Nano has a control input and output for our project. The Arduino will have the utility of controlling the motor, but not directly. For that, we will use a relay that will be activated by the Arduino and will function as a switch. Then, the pulse that will generate the relay will be sent to a contact that will have enough capacity to support the energy peaks created by the model when it starts. Contact up will button are usually used to activate or deactivate, but in this case, Arduino is used because we will also use another security system that I will 
show below. Our machine will have a security system where the corn is inserted. It will have a door with an infrared sensor. The sensor that is to detect the distance by what it will detect when it is closed or open. When Arduino detects that the door is open, it will disactivate the control button is fallen. This is to avoid possible accidents. On the table, we can see the different gauges. We choose the one that is marked because to fit the Arduino sensors and buttons is enough. We choose the 7.7 .7 gauges because this one for the amperes that the motor needs to work. When the motor is connected to 127 volts, manage 24 amperes, so the cable that we choose is enough. Our Arduino Nano consumes around 0.105 watts. The consume is constant, it's also with the LED and the motor. The time daily used is around 6 hours per day. And this is the monthly consume. Steps. Step 1. Introduce the corn. Step 2. Wait for the machine to work for about 10 minutes. Step 3. The machine will have two outputs. One will be the shell corn and the other will be the cup. Okay, for our mechanical process, we are going to use an exact 9.6 centimeters of cold roll will be required for our shaft. We have a specific measurement of a certain cold roll that will be um, 101 0.6 millimeters that we found in a steel store which we want is to to turn our cold roll to be able to live at the measurement of 96 millimeters or 9.6 centimeters of diameter of our shaft and using uh, a turning process we are going to grind the principal piece uh, to have our specific measurement our Boyer cold roll must be turned by 5.6 millimeters to reach the desired measurement. And using an industrial brusher, uh, which has a function of roughing the base of the of the witch in the in the shaft, the cutting tool that is used to to as a as a as a brain, the same type of cutter that we can find in a, in a lift. And the same process will be used in the witch with the industrial brusher. It will be used for rough the small excess of the metal in the piece. And that's it of the principal pieces uh, of the mechanical process. Machine cool. This is a piece that we are going to machine. Um, the program is very simple. The first code is the preparation of the machine before squishing the code. Um, and the next code is the, the start of coordinate, then drill holes in the line way. Then return to starting position uh, and before we rotate the piece. Okay, for the welding uh, operations, we are going to use two different processes of welding. The first one is the electric arc welding, which is going to to be used for the stainless steel, such as the sheller, the the shaft, and the cradle. Uh, we are going to use an electro an electrode that is E three hundred and eight L dash six sixteen. Will be used also for this process. And the second one is the is the microwave welding which is going to be used for the stainless steel such as the base, the protection of the transmission, the corn exit chute and the mash. Assemble. For the assembly it's uh, important to have what is the reinforced structure because the interior assembly which is the sheller has a specific order we must have a part of the removed structure. The second step is uh, install the bearing and a link. 
And the next step is place the shaft with the winding holding. The sheller is only has in insurance. The next is uh, to this will be what a great separation is the will be welded by electric arc. Mount the base where the grain will come out. Uh, resable the remove the structure. Okay, the operation with other materials. The use of other materials uh, only comes down with some protection of the equipment, which are plastics. The first one is the, thermo the thermofit, which will be to protect the, the, the whole together, equi the equipment cables. And the second one being the, um, the bolts, which are the only, only function to holding the cables fixed in a specific place uh, and both protections uh, withstand high temperatures and high voltages uh, is, is supporting 70 degrees celsius and up to 600 volts the toilet a painting uh, the first step is the applique base painting for high performance it has a the function of alloy and is the application of the paint signs increasing its uh, decision on the surface. The next step is the basic paint. Here we use two types of materials, solvent base and water. The solvent base is um, like a paint. The more, so, uh, the more solvent is very but it's also toxic, so we use water for dissolving it. Finally, it's varnished. This layer must be strong and enjoying to resist abrasion, but inter chemical stable to withstand ultraviolet and rays. Cleaning and cutting materials. We use two types of material as clean material and cutting material. The clean material is water brush, a polish machine in some paper. We will use to clean the surface. And cutting material is drill, a cutting machine, a rolling stone. We will use a rolling and we have a very, very fist. 